welcome today we can discuss about class 12 standard electric charges and field in this chapter electric charges and field the first concept is coulomb's law what coulomb's law will say that there are two charged particles q1 and q2 q1 and q2 we have placed the distance r now the coulomb force is directly proportional to the charges the product of two charges q1 and q2 and the coulomb force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance now f is directly proportional to q1 q2 by r square so f is equal to k into q1 q2 by r square so k is a proportionality constant here k value 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught which is 9 into 10 power of 9 so the units of k what it is generally students will be confused so here k is equal to we can write f r square by q1 q2 so force units newtons r square distance square which means newton uh, meter square by coulomb into coulomb coulomb square so newton meter square per coulomb square is the units of k now same coulomb's law in vector form how to express the coulomb's law in a vector form let's say the charges q1 and q2 we placed the distance r okay now q1 is applying force on q2 that force will be repulsive force let's say both are the positive charged particles so there is a repulsive force that is f1 on 2 at the same time charge q2 also will apply the force on q1 that is f21 all right so f21 is equal to force on charge force on charge q2 due to q1 so that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 by r square into r1 to cap so where r1 to cap is equal to r1 to bar by r which is a unit vector so f12 is equal to force on charge q1 due to q2 that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 by r square into r21 cap so r21 cap is equal to r21 bar by r Yes, it, again it's a unit vector. So this is Coulomb's law in a vector form. Thank you. Keep tuned remaining theory parts.